Hey guys, I'm at Ulta. Looks like there's a few suit boxes. So I'm gonna grab them. Hopefully they're not too messy. And then we'll go through it when we get home. Hey guys, so I'm home. Got done dumpster diving, only found things at Ulta today. So I was able to grab four returned suit boxes from Ulta. I brought them home. They look really messy, but hopefully we find some goodies. So yeah, you know the deal. Um, these boxes are basically returned and damaged items from Ulta that they destroy in hopes that people can't get them. But I'm gonna see if I can save anything and I'll let you see the process of it. So, hey guys, so I'm in my backyard because this gets pretty messy. So first things first, make sure you have some gloves. I have like a full box of throwaway gloves because there's gonna be tons of product all over these items. So you wanna keep your hands nice and clean. I'm also gonna show you kind of like my point of view and then I'll put you back on the stand. So the first box is a pretty messy box. It looks very gunky but there is one eyeshadow palette on top it kind of looks like it's an urban decay eyeshadow palette let's see how bad it is inside Eek. oh that's not too bad honestly some things i will save and some things i'll toss if it's beyond repair but yeah i'm going to show you how i repair and fix these and sanitize these because there's a ton of products still in this eyeshadow palette <laughs> This is scary. Two of these boxes were leaking, so I know it's gonna be a mess. One second. So I'm not very hopeful with this pal this this box because everything is a mess. There's a ton of pallets in here. Um, they dug them out, so hopefully we find some salvageable items. Let's open up this little pallet. That's actually not that bad. So I think that's a two-faced pallet. We'll hold on to that. Let me quickly see what's in here. So things like this can be saved. This is a Kenra, some kind of hair product. I can't really see what it says yet, but it's still full and the cap is still on. They can't really destroy these, so you can still save these. So let's open this one. It's like a Morphe palette. They scraped that one out pretty good. This looks like some kind of foundation. I think this is a Tarte foundation. They can't take the lids off, so they really can't destroy it besides pumping it in a million times, but who wants to waste time doing that? So that's salvageable. We have a ton of palettes. Um, I think this is Essence. You could save these, but the eyeshadows are pretty puffy, which usually means that some kind of liquid has got on them. So that means the eyeshadows have been saturated. So you can't really reuse those. We have some kind of foundation right here. It cosmetic CC cream and it's not cut. So there's still product in there. Gloves sometimes don't even save you. More eyeshadow palettes. That looks like a ColourPop palette. It's full of paint. Not paint, foundation. That was some kind of concealer, color corrector, palette. Wait, and it's like a cream consistency already, so I'm not gonna be able to save that, clean that off because the foundation is mixed in there with it. Destroyed palettes. More Tula, completely full. They just open the lids. You could still clean that and use that, which I will. Foundations, I believe it's Maybelline. Uh, once again, they can't open these. Like the lids are pretty like tight and sealed on there so they can't pour them out. Ooh, we have some kind of perfume. To me right here, going through this one suit box, this is worth it to me because I believe this is Marc Jacobs Daisy. I am a huge perfume collector. So for me, this box is already worth it just from the few items I found and this little spray perfume. It's pretty full. Once I clean everything up, you can see like how full it is. We have some kind of, so hard to show you guys, some kind of a NYX primer. What is this? What is this? This might be a cologne or a perfume. Kind of looks like a chamber of a gun. It's got a little bit in it still. I can't tell. Oh, wait, wait. What's that say at the bottom? Azararo? Azaro? 
I don't know. We'll figure this out later. Um, here is a uh, Baby Bliss. Is this Baby Bliss? Yes, Baby Bliss uh, blow dryer. They cut the cord, um, but it's pretty gunky, and I have saved quite a few of these, so <laughs> I'm not going to save this one. <laughs> and plus, I don't see the cord yet, so please don't mind my daughter. She's just being silly. <laughs> Oh, such a shame. Um, uh, one of these headbands. You could bleach this. I'm not really sure how clean it'll come out. I don't know what this is yet, but it's still sealed. So we'll check that out once I clean it. Here's another perfume. I almost tossed that out because it was mixed up in like plastic that's in here. So, so far two, I think they're the same, Daisy perfumes. So this is basically, I'm just taking the whole bag of stuff out because I want to get a closer look. Ooh, I think we have another perfume. Um, I have no idea who that is. It looks fancy. Can you hear that? There is liquid in there. So yay, we're finding perfumes. This is exactly why I say grab suit boxes because the perfumes are worth it sometimes just by themselves. We have a makeup brush. Who's it by? I think it's by Morphe. Yeah. I don't know what that is quite yet. Oh, it's Gucci. Can you see that? It's Gucci. Some kind of roller bowl perfume. It's full still. Yes, I found a few. Oh my God, look at my hands. Okay, this is the only, <laughs> this is the downfall of suit boxes. Sometimes the gloves don't even help you, but it's a good thing I'm outside. I can just hose my hands off. But we have some kind of rollerball perfume from Gucci. So here's my point of view. This is what's left of the first box I'm going through. And yeah, this is what it can look like, you guys. It's not always pretty. This is what we pulled out so far that I think I'm going to be able to clean up and save. Moving on to the second box. Let's see if we can find any goodies. They cut the top of that. They cut it. What's this? Ooh. That's pretty. Some kind of Pacifica eyeshadow palette. That's really pretty, actually. Hmm. I might try to save that. And. Ooh, we have some CeraVe hydrating facial cleansers. The caps are just missing, but they're completely full. Awesome. Oop. That is full. There's no product in there. Sweet. And then here's... That one's broken. I'm going to clean it off just to keep it in there. More of these headbands. That's a super cute one, so I'm going to clean that one. What is this? I can't tell yet. I have no idea. But it's full. Ooh, we have a Diva Curl conditioner, I think. Still full. You could just like squeeze out that part that's got something on it, and you could definitely still use that. What is this? Something's inside this bag. Hold on. Ooh, we have some kind of Clinique um, Moisture Surge. Looks brand new. So it must have been in some kind of gift set or something. Sweet. We have some kind of Morphe brush, but they cut at it. So I'm not going to take that. Ooh, I think we might have another Clinique something. Well, it's a different one. It's the purple one. We have some sealed Ulta Beauty eyeshadows. I think they're just broken, but I can repress those. Something from The Ordinary. It's not been cut. Um, some kind of cool looking brush. The third suit box. Let's see what we have. Cover up X destroyed. We have a Cocoa Pebble. We have quite a few palettes right here. Mm. 
this looks still sealed, but there is quite a bit of eyeshadows broken. This is Makeup Revolution. We have a ColourPop destroyed. And that's the inside of the Cocoa Pebbles. So I'm not really hopeful with this box. Another palette right here. I don't know who, who that's by. Oh. Tarte. We have something right here. Just missing the cap. Ball Body One Hour Express. Um, I'm guessing it's a tanner, so I'll look for the lid. What's this? Ooh, we got a, it's a tin. There's still quite a bit of stuff in there. Palette destroyed. More of these headbands. Back of razors. I wonder if they got wet inside. We'll find out. I don't think they did, but cool. And here is the fourth and final box. I am a mess. The gloves really didn't help, but I will jump in the shower after this. Let's see what we got. Ooh, this box doesn't look soupy. Okay, so we have a Baby Bliss Pro blow dryer. Is it in there? What? Well, there's the cord. We have some Not Your Mother shampoo. Oh, cool. I found damages that haven't been damaged yet. Sweet. So I'm going to keep those separated from the other ones. Um, I don't know how to say that, but this is shampoo. It's full. Still has the receipt on there. Right here. Now this you could save. I might save this one and see if a family member wants it because it's not destroyed. And I have the cord right here if we got anything else good well we have an ordinary uh toning solution still full sweet we have this scalp therapy conditioner it's still full we have some kind of hair mousse another one of these cleanser shampoos another not your mother shampoo still full you guys a Morphe Madison Beer. What is this? A setting spray? It still works. A Baby List Pro brush. The cord is in there. And then here is the brush. I'm definitely going to repair that. Cool. We have a tiny little Baby Bliss straightener. We have another straightener, a nano titanium straightener. And a, another straightener. It's a really thick one. I like that one. What, what in the world is this? And then we have some kind of wand. I don't know. A GHD. Oh, that's really good. So, okay, guys. All that I found I'm going to clean everything that I found and show you what I was able to save but just from all the tools this one box of not damaged things and the perfumes I'm gonna say this soup box adventure was definitely worth it all right guys so I have a lot of the stuff cleaned up and I'm just gonna go through it quickly with you and show everything that I was able to save from those four suit boxes from Ulta I'm gonna go through it really quickly so here we go I found a whole bunch of foundation these lipsticks were still sealed I found some things still sealed as you can see they've never been used they still had the seal on them but I took them off to clean them pretty colors this Bare Minerals lip gloss still had the seal on it. I took it off. The same with this little Tarte concealer. I also found this. There's nothing in it. It's like an empty spray bottle. I guess maybe you can put your own sprays in there. It's kind of cool. Also, here's another item. A still sealed plastic on just to show you that some things are completely sealed when they throw them in the suit boxes. This is Grande Brow. And it's just a clear 
brow product. It's missing the top, but I already have some of these, so I can go ahead and replace them. Some of these didn't come as clean as I would like, um, like this NYX Marshmallow Primer. It still has a ton of product in it, as you can see, but the packaging is stained from all of the foundation that was on it. We have some hair products, uh, skincare. The packaging is stained from all the gunk that was on it. We have Tula. Couldn't find the lid, but there's still product in there. This is a tanning foam found perfumes, which I was really excited about. So I looked this up. This is KK Beauty. This is from Kim Kardashian, and you can see it's pretty much full. Um, this is a cologne. It doesn't have a lot left in it, but enough to try. I also found these little four sample colognes. It's like Versace, Ralph Lauren, a couple more. Really excited about the perfume haul. I found two Daisy Rollerball perfumes by Marc Jacobs. And then here's the Gucci Flora. We have, it's a 10 hair product. I couldn't see what this was earlier, but it's a brightening toner and it's completely full. I found two of these CeraVe hydrating facial cleansers. My sister already took one, so they're completely full. They were just, the, the lids or the pumps got broken somehow. Here's all the hair tools, very expensive hair tools. I just cut the cords. I just have to repurpose them. Here's a cool hairbrush. Here's an ordinary face thing, a Jumbo NYX crown pencil, a Tarte eyelash curler. The two Clinique items that I found wrapped, and wait, they're still brand new. These were never used, like they're completely full, never been swatched. More Clinique to go with those. Um, I found this, this was still in packaging. This is um, the Creme Shop, the Cream Shop. <laughs> The Cream Shop Overnight Lip Balm Therapy Mask. And this is still sealed. It's never been touched. All right, so I tried to save this Naked Urban Decay palette. Like there's still a ton of product in there, but I'm not really into holding on to palettes that I'm not going to use that much. So what I am going to do is there's like four shades in this palette that are absolutely beautiful. So like these really metallic colors, I'm going to scrape out and I'm going to repress them into um, another pan, something that I can use more often. I just wanted to show you how freaking pretty these are. So glittery. This is a cool shade too. Look at that. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of repan some of these and use them because I don't want to hold on to extra palettes if I don't have the space. Here is an Ulta Beauty single eyeshadow. It was broken in the packaging, still sealed, but I went ahead and repressed it. I'm gonna swatch it for you. So creamy, so pretty. And the last few things are the things that were in the soup box that was not damaged. I showed those earlier. So this isn't a bad score, you guys. This is all that I was able to recover from those boxes. These tools being like $100 each, all this adds up, guys. This was a pretty good score. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video.